The Link Show is just about to start. If you want to be a part of The Link Show, head over to linkkids.com.au forward slash live. Coming up today on The Link Show, we are going to be talking all things Easter. We're going to be linking in with kids from churches and schools all around the world. And CCNR and are putting our gaming skills to the test in our Mario Easter egg hunt. Yeah, it's payback for which way is wise. Oh, you're going down. So true. Plus, I am off because I need to go to the shops in a moment to go buy some food because I'm going to cook a very special meal for a friend. Are we the friends? Maybe we'll see. We're going to find out all that and more today. Let's get Get linked. Oh, do we really have to play Mario Kart? Welcome back to another episode on The Link Show where today we are talking about Easter. What's your favourite thing about Easter? Don't even get me started, right? So you go to bed early. Yes. Okay. And then you wake up. Yeah. Okay. You're super excited, right? Totally. Go downstairs. Yeah. And then you check if the milk and cookies were eaten. Right? And then all of a sudden you go to the tree and you find presents. And then you have to open the presents. That's Christmas. We're talking about Easter. Oh, I love Christmas. I love it. Okay, well, while this one works out what Easter is about, I'm going to go read your shout outs. Let's read your shout outs. The kids from Victory Christian College say, Buckle, thank you so much for visiting our school this week. You were so funny. Can you please bring Cece and Miguel with you next time, though? Oh, we'd love to come. Brianna says, hi Buckle, I am sad that the Fear Fighter season is done. It was pretty cool and funny. And Jake says, the crocodile looks scary and cool. Thanks for your shout outs guys. Let's go see what Buckle is up to. Okay, so I want to do something a little bit different with you today because there was a moment when I was in school and I only had a couple of friends because I wasn't that good at making friends when I was younger. But one of my best friends at school, his family was actually leaving the town. The dad had got work elsewhere and so in a few weeks they were all going to leave and I wasn't going to see him again for a long time. So what did we do? We had a pizza party. So in honor of that, I'm going to go to the shops really quickly, grab a couple of ingredients and not that we might have a pizza party right now with you as well. I'll be back in a sec, going to go to Coles. Alright, we're back already. That was fast. But let's take a look and see what we are going to use in the bag for our pizza. Wrap bases, we're going to use a wrap base. We're going to go with barbecue sauce, ham. I'm going to be putting heaps of ham on these. Cabana, I love my cabanas. Capsicum, we're going to put that one there. So I actually like putting spinach on my pizza. Onion, I'm a fan of onion. I know you might not for every pizza. Cheese. So let's get started. Now it wouldn't be a pizza party if I was on my own so I am going to make two different pizzas. One for me, one for someone else because that's what today's story is all about. Because today we're actually talking about a moment in the Bible called the Last Supper. You see, sometimes when you're going to say goodbye to someone for a long time, you know they're going away, you want to be able to celebrate the fact that they were in your life and that they are important to you. And so that's what we did with our friend at school. You see, we all got together on the last day of school at lunchtime and we all ordered pizzas. Now, obviously the pizzas didn't look like this. They were the normal ones that you might eat. But that was the way that we spent time together. We sat down and we had a meal. We wanted to eat food. We wanted to break bread together to celebrate the fact that we were best friends, but we weren't going to see each other for a long time. So our whole class all sat around and ate pizza. Let's keep working on these. Actually, I need something to cut these with. Hold on one sec. All right, we've got a cutting board. We've got a spoon to spread our sauce. We've got a knife so that we can cut the ingredients. I'm going to spread the barbecue sauce out around on the base. And I'm actually going to put more sauce on top. So I'm only putting a little bit on to start with. What should we go next? Let's go with the ham. So let's cut up some ham. Fantastic. So let's put some ham on these pizzas. These are going to be delicious. And this is always the joke. Pineapple on pizza. Yes or no? I am a yes, but the person I'm making the other pizza for is a no. I know, right? Next, we're going to cut our capsicum. Put that on the pizza as well. Next, we're going to cut up some onion. Put that on the pizza as well. Next, let's add some cabana. I love it. Next, we'll add a little bit of spinach. Not too much, because I still want the cheese to go on top. And then last but not least, 
cheese. Love my cheese on my pizza. And then like I mentioned, I actually like to drizzle a little bit of sauce on the top of my pizza as well, just because I think it makes it taste better. And we're done. So here's my question for you. Have you ever had someone that you care about, a close friend or maybe a family member, maybe it was a cousin or an uncle, and they had to go away? Maybe they were moving house or maybe they were going on a work trip somewhere else. Maybe it was a parent, your mum or your dad, and they had to go away for a week for whatever reason, and you knew that you weren't gonna see them again for a while. How did that make you feel. I knew that when my friend went away and I wasn't gonna see him for a long time, I felt really sad because it brought me so much happiness to spend time with him. We would spend time at each other's houses all the time. We'd play cricket in the backyard. And the cool thing about where he lived is kangaroos would be jumping through the backyard while we were playing cricket. We'd play video games together. I reckon we hung out nearly every single week. And then all of a sudden, he was gone. But here's the thing. Even though he was going away, I knew that we were still going to be friends. We just weren't gonna see each other for a while. And so, although we had a last meal together where we had pizza and we hung out, and it was a sad moment because I knew that it would be a while before I saw him, it was a happy moment as well because I knew that I would see him again one day in the future, and that when I got to see him again, I would remember how much we cared about each other. And so a little later on, we're actually gonna take a look at a story in the Bible where Jesus knew that his time on earth was nearly up and so before he went back to heaven he did something special with his disciples so that they would remember him but we'll talk about that in just a minute in this game Miguel and Cece both take turns hiding a balloon somewhere in the game whoever can find the other balloon fastest wins they can have more than one go each but their timer will keep going let's see if they're ready Okay, let me. I don't know. Hey, let okay. me know. If, let me know if she cheats or not. All right, because I don't know. I don't trust. Hey, right, I'm let's get this game ready. going. Let's get this game going. All right, all right. Here we go. Here we go. All right, I'm going. I can't say too much because she's right next to me, bud. No, give me clues. Tell all right, me. So I'm going past the water. <laughs> I'm going inside the water now. No. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, is that? Interesting. I'm trekking through what you might call the squirrels area. <laughs> nice. I do want to hide the balloon there. Okay, way to go, bro. You picked a really good hiding spot. Well, let's hope so. Cece, I reckon you're ready. Yeah. The Ooh, castle. Right, that way. How do I get? How do I? Get inside. Right. Get inside. How? What do I do? Go back. Go back. What? Get inside. Ah! You gotta go inside. What am I doing? That open way, the back. door. No, if you okay. open, if you press A, you can open the door. Open. I hate this game. What is this? Why do you keep clicking the same <laughs> I'm trying to get out of the water. <laughs> we collect the W's. Can have another go, Susan. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. <laughs> well, now that the producer has told me that I can't even go through the castle, Miguel. Oh, I got a coin. I mean, That's if fun. you know, you know. You just leave me alone and let me do this. Oh, you I'm almost close. killed Where Mario. Where is it? Where oh, is it? up oh, the no! beanstalk! Up the beanstalk! Where is it? No! Oh, oh, yes, oh, oh, you again! Let's go! So close! So Ooh. One more try. Okay, Ooh. I know which way I'm going now. Oh. Yeah. Double. See, 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 I'm interested to see how you go with this one. <laughs> this is terrible. Alright. Oh, 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 yes! Holy. Third time's a charm. Third time. My goodness, well done. Thank you. Well done. Alright, let's do this business. Did you get the balloon? Done. Yes, I have hidden the balloon. Alright, Miguel. Good luck. Alright, bless, bless, this. bless. Okay. You're running in the opposite direction. Yep. Excellent. Why is old mate running that way? This is crazy. All right, so right now I'm going down a hill. For real. Oh, it's a campfire. Oh, That's fun. Ah. I got burnt, but I see the balloon and it's worth it. It is worth it. Ugh. Wow. I feel like that was a bit too easy, Cece. Not I tried lie. really hard. It took me the whole thing. Look, to be fair, my Mario guy got burnt. All right, well, how about we go see what Buck was up to? Okay, so I've preheated the oven already, and so I'm gonna go put these in the oven now. 
But while I do that, why don't we go take a look at today's animated Bible story and learn all about the story of a moment in the Bible called the Last Supper. Say hello to Jesus, the Son of God, the Savior of the world. And while Jesus was here on earth, he would travel from place to place teaching people of God's love and healing their sick. It was coming close to the time of a festival called the Passover, and they were going to celebrate in Jerusalem. And so Jesus' disciples asked him, Teacher, where should we go and prepare the meal for the festival? Jesus said, Go into the city, and you will see a man carrying a jar of water. Follow him to the house that he enters and ask him this. Sir, the teacher is asking where the guest room is that he may eat the Passover with his disciples. And he will show you to a large room already prepared. And so the disciples did as Jesus said. And sure enough, it happened just like Jesus had told them. Later that evening, while Jesus and his disciples were sitting around the table eating together, Jesus took some of the bread and said to his disciples, This is my body given for you. And he passed the bread out for them to eat. He said, Eat this and remember me. He then picked up a cup of wine and said, This is my blood poured out to forgive the sins of the world. And so the disciples ate the bread and drank the wine that Jesus had given them. Jesus said, This is the last time that I will eat and drink with you until we are all together in my Father's kingdom. Jesus told his disciples that one of them in the room eating with him would betray him. He said that it had to happen this way, but great sadness would be ahead of the man that betrayed him. The disciples started talking amongst themselves saying, who could it be? But one of the disciples named Judas came to Jesus and said, Jesus, is it me? Jesus replied, you have said it. The other disciples asked Jesus, who is it? And Jesus said to them, it is the one who I give the bread to. And he gave the bread to Judas. And Jesus said, go and do what you're going to do. So Judas left, getting ready to betray Jesus. The other disciples didn't understand what was about to happen. And so Jesus comforted them and told them, when I am gone, God will send a helper to be with you. And so they all sung a song to God. You see, in this story, Jesus knew that he was going away, but he wanted his disciples to remember that he wasn't disappearing. He wasn't no longer going to exist. He was still going to be their friend. He still cared about them and he wanted them to remember him as well. And so he got them together and he said, I'm going away soon, but I want you to remember me. And so when you get together as friends, all of you disciples, get some bread, break the bread, Eat the bread. Remember that I love you. And what's about to happen, I'm letting it happen because I care about you. And then Jesus took something to drink and he had a drink. I've got my Pepsi Max because I love Pepsi Max. And he took some and he said, drink this. Whenever you drink this, remember me. Remember how much I care about you. And what I'm about to do, I'm doing it to help you. You see, the Bible tells us that Jesus, when he finished his time here on earth, he went back to heaven, but he's not gone forever. The Bible also says that he's coming back again. And so that's why it's so important that we always find times to remember Jesus, that we remember how much he loves us. Remember that he wants to be our friend. And even though you can't see Jesus, you can talk to him. Like my friend, we would call each other on the phone. And although we couldn't see each other, we could still talk. That you can talk to Jesus, you can pray to God, and you can ask for help. And so today, while we're starting our Easter series, I want you to take some time and think about what things do you do to make sure that you never forget, because this is what our big point is today. It's what I want us to remember, that we should always remember Jesus. Today was so much fun. Yeah, and you know what? Let's do a recap of what we did today. That's right. So today we learned all about Easter. And Buckle made some food and told us to remember the people that are very important in our lives. Mm. The Bible story today was all about the Last Supper. Mm. And Cece and I played a great game called the Mario Easter Egg Hunt. Yeah. Uh, hey guys! Thank you! How'd you go today? Great! Yeah. 
was a video game a point of difference? It, it happened. Mm, there had nice. to be something to help Miguel out with how bad which way his wise was. Okay. So how did you go? You feel like you did alright? You had fun? Look, it was hard, but I had fun. I was able to laugh at myself, and I feel like that's important. Perfect. Mm, yeah. But hey, it's not about us, it's about you. So thank you so much for linking in with us today for The Link Show. We can't wait for next week. We've got a few more fun things lined up for our Easter series. But my name is Buckle. My name's Miguel. And I'm Cece. And we'll see you next week on The, the Link, Link Show. Show.